welcome back to learning partner so in this video we are going to see some of the advanced directives we have in angular ng content ng container ng template out or ng template only so these are the various directives we have when we are dealing with the template so let's see with the practical example first we will try to design the card okay so card is nothing but a simple div where we can uh, we, we can have a header our actual content and the footer also. So let me just copy paste this. I will create a reusable component for card. Okay. So in the reusable folder, I will create a component. ng generate component my card. Okay. The component is created. So in my card, we have to paste our content. Okay. So here let's say let's remove the card footer we don't need that we can add some background color let's say primary so we have created a card component where we have the card header and a card body now if we have to use this in any another component because this is a reusable component so we can use this or anywhere so this is my selector this is my parent component in the first column i will going to use it like this so let's save and check what output we get so you can see we have got the card without the header because we haven't specified the header so let's write the out input so input uh, is nothing but a property decorator by which we can pass the data to the reusable component so we can declare like this input round bracket our head name that is header title data type string let's initialize it with empty now wherever we are using this card component we just have to send the data along with it so it will be it is a property of app my app my app card component so we have to use the property binding to send the data okay so let's say student list let's save and check now okay so here we have just created the input but we haven't used that so in html here we can use it let's save and check yeah so we can see title is there so from the parent component we have sent that property along with the value next what if I have to send the HTML also over here? So there are multiple ways. First, we are trying to check the ng content, how we can make use of the ng content. Okay. So here, what we can do in between of this selector, we can create our HTML. Let's say we will create a table. TR. Let's say TH. Serial number. Let me just create the basic content. So this is just a normal table I have created inside the selector of my reusable component. You can see inside the selector of it. So I have a HTML over here. Now I have to render this, whatever the HTML I have inside in between of the selector into particular card body. So here I can use ng hyphen content. Okay. So with simply this, let's see the magic now. So I have saved everything. So you can see in the table body, I can see whatever the content I have written in the selector. See here inside the card body. So let me just explain over it once again. So this was my selector. Let me remove this table. So if you can see here, this is my selector of the component. I have passed one input also that is student list and that get displayed in the card header. Now between this selector, I have the table. And this table will be whatever the content I write here, it will be displayed wherever I have the ng content in my reusable component. So ng content act as a placeholder to render the content we pass in between the selector wherever we are using. So you can see this is the selector of that component and we have a table in between of that selector. So this will get loaded over here. So this is the way of this is the way how we use ng content. Now, second thing is ng container. What are the various scenarios where we can use the ng container? 
let me create just an array. Let's create an array of student list. I'll pause the video for now. So I have created an student list array where I have the object of array and it contains four properties. Now I have to display this over here, right? Now in this template, I will use, okay, let me write it over here again because that we are using in the ng content. So let me just copy paste this. So in the second column, I am testing my column. Okay. So instead of this, we will keep state. Let me remove the, all that static tier. So now what I have to do, I have to add the set time out. Unless that set time, I mean, particular for the particular time, I have to show the loader. Okay. So I'm creating one variable that is, is loader providing data type of boolean and initializing it with false. Now I will add a constructor. So in constructor, I will use the set timeout with 5000, that will be five cycle. And inside this, I will make that variable true. Sorry, false. First we have to make it for false and then we will make it true. Okay, so initial initial uh, for this variable we have the value for uh, true, but once we get once for after five seconds it will get false. Now I can use this variable over here. So what I have to do on the tr we use the for loop, right? Ng for let item of our array name that is student list. So what if I have to you uh, what if I have to show the loader unless data is there and once we get the loader hidden then I have to show the data right so here we can use ng container hyphen container so here we can write star ng if is equal to that variable that is is loader so ng container is nothing but an imaginary div which we can use just for our programming, okay? Then we just need to copy paste this and put it over here. And this will be with the false. If it is false, then we have to show this tr. And if it is not, if it is true, then we have to show a tr with td, but it will show table loading. Or we can use bootstrap loader also. So in bootstrap also, we have some spinners. So we can use that. Now let's use this and put it over here inside that TD. And let me just format it. We just need to assign the call span also. Like we have total four column, right? So call span four. So if this variable is true, then this container will be visible. And if it is false, then this container. And, and inside this container, we have the record. So let's just map that record. Item dot ID. Let me just copy paste. Name. State. And city. So let's check the output. So up to five seconds, it will show this uh, loader. After that, our table record will be visible. Got it? So this is, if we inspect now, let's try to inspect. So you can see we don't have, we cannot see that ng container inside the T body, right? So because that ng container doesn't create any actual div or anything. So this is kind of an imaginary thing we have, which we can use just to uh, write our programming, okay? One more way of using ng container is like, let's say we want to add a condition on the TR. Let's say if city is something, so we don't have to show that particular row. So that will be ng if is equal to item dot, let's write with state. If it is item is mh, we don't have to show that. 
So if you can see on the TR only, we have added NG for and NG. So if you, you will get an expression error that cannot have a multiple template binding on the element. So we cannot use structural, two structural directive on a one element because NG for is also a structural directive and NG is also a structural directive. So we can overcome this scenario with the help of NG container. Now inside this NG container, again, I am creating NG container. Okay, so now this for loop, I will use over ng container and then tr will be inside this. Now I can use it. So you can see on ng container, I have used the for loop. So imaginary, what I said like for the programming purpose only. So for imaginary div, we are using ng for and then on the actual tr, we are using our condition that is ng. So if you have a scenario where you have to use ng for and ng for the same element, you cannot do that, but with ng container, you can achieve that. So let's save and check. So after five seconds, we will be able to see only records which are from Maharashtra. So you can see MH record, only one record is available. So this is the way how we can use ng container. This is the normal way where we need to add an imaginary div like this. Otherwise, if you have to use ng for and ng on the same element, so you can go with the ng container on the parent. And then on the here, we can actually write the tr with the ng condition. So this was the second way how we can use the ng container. Now, next thing is ng template and ng template out. So this is just a combination by which we can use it. Okay. So let's create and call three. Let's just add a background color that is BG secondary. So I'm creating an ng template over here. So we create it like ng template. Okay. And here I will show a loader or a progress bar or a loader something. So this div, I will put it inside this ng template. Okay, so you can see in the third column, I have uh, I have created a template and inside that template, I have the loader. So if we save and check, so we don't get to see that loader over here, but it is present over here, right? But if I remove this template, now you will be able to see, okay? So this is the difference. So ng templates bind by using the ng template, we can bind some HTML content over here, but it won't be visible unless we have to we have to project it somewhere. So let's say if I have a card over here. And I can provide a hash property value to this template so let's say loader now inside this i will use ng container or d only now here i have to use ng template outlet is equal to i will be passing this value So just star was missing. So in card body, we are we have a div, and to this div, we are passing a template that is loader. So let's save and check now. So you can see in that particular div, you can see the template is getting loaded. So this was a card body. Inside that card body, we had a div, and inside that div, you can see if you see here, we don't see that but it is displaying or rendering the template, okay? So this is how we use the ng template and with ng template outlet, whatever the value we have to pass. So let's create one more. We have a second div, let's create one more template. And in that template, we will show some another loader. Let's use the button, loader two. And this we will pass it to the second div. 
let's save and check. So you can see in that second view, this is the first view and this is the second view. No, well, something is not right. Okay, yeah, instead of that, we, it has just shown. So this, this the first loader is coming from the first view and second, you can see the button is there. So this is how we can use ng template and the ng template out. So ng template out, outlet is just a way by which we can accept and template and it will render over that. Okay, so we have whatever the HTML we are going to use. Let's say you in this particular page, you are going to need this loader multiple page at a multiple time. So rather than writing this same HTML code everywhere, you can store that in a template and you can use this template wherever you need. So it will provide us the reusability. So this is the one of the way how we can use ng template out. So I think we have covered ng content, then ng container, and ng template outlet and the ng template. So these are the various possible way how we use these are the directives. Hope you have liked the video. Please do like and subscribe.